that. And just run it back and forth. Up and down if you have to. Just put some pressure on uh, different spots. Old school. I sure like, well, I sure don't like to send my uh, parts to a machine shop, that's why. If I can do it myself, the better it is. It's not really that hard. It just requires some of your time. That is all. All right, let's see what it look. Ah, look at that. Yeah. It's sure it's much better than what it was before. Right, this one, I'm gonna polish this one, this side. This is one of the journal that needed some uh, repair or some need some attention. Cause whenever I run my, uh, or rub my uh, fingernail across it, it's just getting hanged up. There's some on the mains also, but it's not enough to, uh, but I'm going to uh, polish this also. Yeah, this is just something that I can do at home. I know I can do it. So I went to my hardware store and got me one of these uh, sandpaper, 2000. I don't want to remove a lot of material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, measure it first. And I'm going to measure it after I get done with it. Just to see if I remove a lot of material. I know I won't. Yeah, 2000 grit is not really that uh, aggressive. So I'm getting... Uh, 1.7 that past 50 so 71 it's over 71 let me see if this if the other journal are the same yeah if you're ever gonna tackle one of these or when you tear down your motor it's better to check your crankshaft first make sure it's within tolerance and this one is the same thing 71 a little more over than 71 let me check it with this make sure it's zero cut a strip of that sandpaper so I'll just simply wrap it around you could do this uh, wet or dry it's up to you and I'm gonna do it uh, dry cuz uh, a little bit messy when using a lubricant something like uh, WD-40 or something the idea not to the point where I'm getting rid of all of the uh, the lines all together the gouges but I rub my finger over it and if it didn't get caught or I don't feel it anymore then that's when I'm going to stop 
So if you have something that's severely damaged, you have no other choice but to uh, send it to a machine shop and let them, or let the professional do it. So if you have something minor, don't be afraid. This is perfectly fine. I'm also doing the pull on the strings on a multiple directions, like I'll keep rotating it. That way the pressure, it goes all around the journal. You can do this wet or dry, it's up to you. But I chose just to do it dry. Check. Look at that, it's all polished. I don't really need to give this thing a polish anymore. Right there. That's what I want. Yes, yeah, not uh, my fingernails not getting hanged up anymore. That's good. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna hit some of the journals and I'll show it to you guys after I get done with it. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. This is after me spending time polishing it and everything. Yeah, I think it turned out to be good. Going to uh, remeasure it real quick, especially the what's that the number two connecting rods. Probably didn't even change much, so I will give this one a wash after I get done with this. Seventy one, yeah. One point seven seven one, yeah. That one is a little bit over seventy one. Turn out to be good. Yeah. It 
it's good. My fingernail's not getting caught anymore. Yeah. Not bad at all, not bad. It's all cleaned up and ready to go. So now all I need is wait for my bearings that I ordered and we'll, we'll be good to go. So I am going to say that if you guys ever disassemble your lower block to build one of these, just do your inspection. If you don't have a minimum tools required, just get one of these. You know where I got this from. It's very inexpensive and it'll do a job. It's not as uh, fancy as some other guys would have in their possession, but uh, you get me by. Yeah. So it's good to go. So uh, next up will be, I'll be making a, a parts list for the lower block. Uh, show you a little bit of uh, what is needed to, uh, to get this thing done. And once that bearing showed up, we can put it all together. Cool. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Like and subscribe.